Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another answer to mention new game minus minus video episode 40. And you remember that last the update I talked about last episode? Yeah, here it is. This is the big change. You gain more antimatter based on your galaxies. And it gives me... Uh, the amount of galaxies I have right now is E40,000. And I don't even have that much stuff. Actually, I have all these galaxy upgrades here. So you're just going to see, I, I think, if I just do like X times last crunch, I'm just going to do like, you know, 1 or 2 E308. Just try to attempt to get that Yodog achievement. This should, this upgrade should get even more powerful. Like now it's up to E42,000. So apparently this is better than just the direct infinity point thing. Also, I... Don't even, have, don't even have any time studies, so I should probably get these time studies. I mean, that's actually interesting. I can get E4000 infinity, infinity points without any time studies. And remember, there is an achievement that is essentially get X amount of infinity points without any time studies. It's, it's this one right here. It's E22000, and it actually has a reward. And, you know, New Game Minus Minus is really slow, but maybe it won't be slow after this new update that will speed everything up. So, let's see, I'm up to E4000 infinity points. I should be able to get a little bit more. Like, I already have more antimatter. It's enough to almost get, yeah, it's enough to get a time theorem already. And now I'm up to over E5000. So this definitely should get me farther. Also, I think I'm going to cross... E1 million antimatter, which is a Maximus million. So that's that's special. Just E1 million. E E6. So yeah, it's, it's just a special number to cross. You can just see it like for like one frame while I'm getting all these replicated galaxies. This should give me a few time theorems and just make the, the, the game overall easier. Or not easier, but like, you know, faster. And I definitely need this game to be faster. If you've seen the last few episodes, it has been extremely slow. So, yeah, I can probably get a couple more time theorems as well. I can, I'm up to 100 time theorems, which is half of what I need to get study 181, which is probably the best study in the game. It's probably not the best upgrade in the game because of how overpowered the galaxy upgrades are, but it's definitely the best time study in the entire tree. So, yeah, that, that's that's why I'm, I'm really sort of like, I'm tracking my progress to get 181. And I'm not going to tell you what it does. I mean, you probably know what it does if you've played the original game, or if you've watched like my new game, Plus Plus series. So what I'm doing here, I can, it looks like I can get about two more time theorems, and that's about it. I can get E33 eternity points, which is pretty good. Like, it feels like that is a good eternity point farming strategy. I can get all the way up to E34 eternity points per minute, which is really good. So, I could try to grind some eternity points, and I feel like that's what I should do. Also, actually, this update apparently has buffed the eternity challenge rewards, except this reward doesn't seem any better. That reward doesn't seem any better. This one seems the same, so I, I have no idea what where they're coming from, but I feel like I should do something like 5e32, and that should, even without pressing R, hopefully, yeah, it'll give me a total of 1.27e34 eternity points per minute. So that means with a few hours of grinding, I can get up to, like, this upgrade, this five times more eternity points, which will, in turn, allow me to get more of these time dimension upgrades. Hopefully they're buffed. I'm not sure if they are and a few more time theorems, which are really gonna help for the eternity challenges. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and you can notice that I have E37 eternity points. It's because I've gotten the E36 upgrade here, so that has definitely helped things, and maybe I can get more antimatter because of all of these eternity points. Like, I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine of the time dimension multipliers which are yeah they're weak but whatever Every, everything counts in a mod like this and then of course there is the time studies i can get quite a few i can get one two three four five six seven eight time theorems so it's quite a bit it should help with these challenges and hopefully it'll make these challenges more possible 
So, actually, one thing people were saying I should try to actually go for is Eternity Challenge 6. Where, like, again, it, it's very interesting with, like, the um, active thing. Or maybe there's Eternity Challenge 8. I'm not even sure. I'm, just, I'm probably just going to try them over again. Also, maybe I can try Eternity Challenge 4 because of the, of, no, it's not even the Galaxy upgrade. It's a, it's a Break Infinity upgrade. It's, it's more antimatter based on Galaxies, which could help Eternity Challenge 4. But I feel like I should just go for Eternity Challenge 6, and that's what I, I'm going to do. So, what I can, I think it's better to go Infinity Dimension for, for this, and then just get everything here, because I can afford it, and just hold R down, so I can get... 6, or not 60, 40 Replicanti Galaxies. And I forgot exactly what the challenge is all about. I'm still waiting for these Replicanti Galaxies. Is it really taking this long? Oh, it's because, it's because I'm eternity -ing. I don't need to be eternity like this. Just get the Replicanti Galaxies so I can enter the challenge. Okay, here. Here's the challenge. So you cannot gain galaxies normally, but the cost of upgrading your max triple Conti galaxies is massively reduced. I need E850 infinity points, so of course I will try to get all these galaxy upgrades. And let's see if this is... Like, I think this is where like I thought it was sort of impossible. Because, like you can see, I sort of... I can, I can easily get up to about E400 infinity points, and... Even with these replicated galaxies, I mean the replicated galaxies do help, like especially a, like a lot, especially at the beginning, but not much after that. So you can just see it's like E four eighty six. I really don't think this challenge is possible. Like I have all the time studies here, yet it's not really all that powerful. I I mean I could again try to push this, but I really don't think this that this is possible. I've tried this challenge too much and I keep failing at it. Yeah, I'm just not gonna beat this challenge. So it's just I'll just give up here and I'll try to go into Eternity Challenge 8. So people are actually saying that in for Eternity Challenge 8 I could try to like skip on 133. Like bef like which is interest which is a very interesting strategy, but I'm not really sure if this is the best idea. I think I think I should just go time dimensions. I'm really not sure. Maybe I should go infinity dimensions. So I, I can do this. I can only remember it's the you can only upgrade infinity dimensions 50 times, and then you can only upgrade time dimensions or not time dimensions. Yeah, um, replicate replicated galaxies 40 times. I forgot what the goal was. It's e2100 infinity points. So I should probably like I, if I did skip on these, then I would have to wait to get like some of these other ones. So, well, I should get these infinity dimensions. That's pretty obvious. And I think, yeah, just one eighth infinity dimension, and then the first infinity dimension is the most powerful. Or maybe not. Okay, whatever. It's, it's the most powerful. So just, yeah, just get st get this for all the infinity dimension stuff. And then for Replicanti, get the chance of 9%. I, I know that. That's the best you can do here. And then... Um, get probably at least this many purchases, maybe more. Like I'm, I don't, I don't know how many time walls I'm really gonna want here. I mean, I could try to get some stuff. It, this, this doesn't really look good because E1250, E1260. I'm not even close to the goal, and the replicated galaxies are just not gonna help enough. So it's gonna be another failure. And I'm gonna. Tr I'll try Eternity Challenge Seven. All right, this is the yeah the first time dimension bruises. Yeah, I I forgot how this works. So I I remember I I do normal dimension path for this. So again, I I have to, I have to respect it. Not export tree, but whatever. So the goal here is only E fourteen fifty infinity points, which may be more manageable. Like I definitely need something as manageable as possible. Like this is this actually looks like it may be possible. Like, you can see, I'm, I don't even have full time studies here. So if I go to, like, full time studies, um, I, can, I can actually go all all the way full time studies now with Attorney Challenge 7. This looks like I'm actually going to beat the challenge, which is pretty amazing. 
So in the reward is first time dimension produces eighth infinity dimensions, as of the first time dimension is a ninth dimension. Or maybe I'm not gonna be able to beat this challenge because I'm all already the max replicated galaxies, and I'm still a hundred orders of magnitude of infinity points away from the challenge goal. So I'm really not sure. Maybe I should have tried to go idle instead of active. I have no idea. It's, it doesn't again not looking good. I thought this is so promising, and then just like nope, can't get anything. I guess I can get that, but that does nothing. I I really I really wish I could somehow get like this upgrade. I I need something like even with these buffs, this game is still very slow. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna exit the challenge, so that that means another failure. Respect time studies and go idle instead of active. This may give me just enough <laughs> infinity points to be able to actually beat the challenge. Like I, I feel like I, it's actually a good idea to skip like some of the or not skip but like wait until I get some of the idle time studies just so I can I can get the replicated galaxies. Because you can see I'm just I'm getting them so much quicker than if I were to use the idle path and have to wait for each replicated galaxy. Like I mean I'm waiting here but I'd have to wait three and a half seconds per replicated galaxy. So okay I think this is the point where I should probably get these time studies and probably grind infinities. I know this is this is this mod for you. But at the very least I have gotten some decent progression from this balancing update. So hopefully I can beat this challenge. I'm really hoping that this one's gonna be possible and maybe its reward is gonna be really good. Like I like I'm getting like you can see I have a lot like E6500 time shards here. And this could be this could be huge in like for like the infinity dimensions. And I'm really not sure how big it it is, but it could end up being a very powerful reward. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.